Lately, I've had a few requests to take you guys behind the scenes of uh, one of my recent designs here, uh, birdieboutique.com. It was actually featured as Adobe Muse site of the day uh, last week, I want to say Wednesday, and then today in their live webinar, they talked about it a little bit, but I want to give you guys a, a quick, simple explanation of a couple of the things that are going on in the site. Uh, if you visit the site and scroll down through it, you'll see the first effect is really just out of focus bows flying in front of the camera. They're flying by faster than everything else is, uh, but at a slightly different speed. You can see here that that bow is going quicker than the uh, box below it. That's using the simple scroll motion in Adobe Muse. I'll show you guys how I dialed that in. And then this is really the cool part. Uh, you can see the miscellaneous bows back here, all different colors, and as I scroll past them, they change to the color of the box that swipes over them. Now we've got red bows, and it's not just the color changing, these are different kinds of bows. Here we go, we got polka dot bow, and then if we go over the green, see we've got this green uh, two-layer bow that's uh, got different color polka dots on it. So these are different images of different bows, and as you swipe through, uh, the images change. And a lot of people are really thrown off by that and wondering how on earth it was done. And I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to start by showing you the resources that I created uh, going into this project. And really what we're looking at here are a few blurry bows. These are just PNG images of blurry bows on a transparent background. Simple as that. And then I've got these bow piles. These bow piles were created uh, by me actually photographing a picture of a bow and then using Photoshop and Illustrator to create uh, sort of a simulated pile of bows. Uh, so I've got these images here, and then let me open the actual Muse project so you can see how and why it animates the way it does. I think you'll get a kick out of this. It's much, much easier than it looks. All right, so here's my project, and if I go in, this is a single, single page website. Uh, you can see here that I've got just this static area up here, and then here are the bows. Uh, now the bows, hey, new subscriber, that's always nice. The bows here, the bows are scrolling at different speeds because I've gone into the effects up here. I've gone to the scroll motion tab, and I've told the bows to scroll. Uh, in this case, this bow is scrolling at a speed of 2, and I have it the same before and after the key position. I've ju just got it scrolling at a constant uh, speed of 2 which means it's just going twice as fast as everything else. That's what that 2 represents. This bow happens to be going at 2.2. I wanted to make sure the bows weren't all going at exactly the same speed because if they were flying through the air in real life, physically, they probably wouldn't be going at exactly the same speed. So I kind of mixed them up. But these are really just layers, you know? They're those PNG images just sitting on top. Uh, then the real fun part is down here. I've got a 100% page width uh, box here. This one's filled with uh, this sort of turquoise color. Then I have the same thing going on here, but this one is an image fill. I've gone up here to fill. I've clicked on little folder, and I've told it to fill with one of my images there of the pile of bows. Uh, now what's important here to pull this off is that you've got the fitting set to tile vertically because you can't pull off this effect if it's not set to tile. Uh, it could be set to tile every direction or tile vertically. I have it set on tile vertically because really that's the only direction that matters. And then I have the position set to center that image in the box because I want to see the middle of the pile of bows. Now here's where the effect happens. We go up to the scroll tab for the fill, turn on scroll motion, and set everything to zero. Zero means it's not going to scroll. So really what you're seeing it's the appearance of a scrolling mask, but really what you're seeing as we scroll by is everything is scrolling like normal. I'm opening a preview here. Everything is scrolling like normal. This is scrolling up and down like normal, and the box is scrolling up and down, but the fill, the bows that are filling the box are not scrolling. They're set to a speed of zero, so they're just kind of stuck to the browser. So this box is flying by with its own fill, then the next box flies by with a different fill. It's filled with a different pile of bows. So as each one flies by, we get our different static sort of wipe effect. It's that easy. That's pretty darn easy. I, I would love to see other examples of this being used. I'm really fascinated by this effect. 
if anyone has any suggestions or, or their own rendition of this effect, please post it in the comments. I would love to see. But that's it. That's Birdie Boutique. That's how it was done. Uh, check it out on the Adobe Muse website, the site of the day. And if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe because I got more coming for you soon.